Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And you know, it's a really good thing to take time and enjoy the blessings that God brings along your way. I live in a very picturesque area of my city and there's small parks nestled in between apartments and high rises with massive trees lining the streets. It's an older neighborhood. Older homes have been lovingly restored on just about every block, making it a really nice place to live. Living near the downtown core is ideal for me because I relish the independence my power chair gives me, at least during the non-snowy months. Within a 10 block radius, there are supermarkets, cafes, drug stores, art stores, and other small businesses. My dentist and ophthalmologist office are within blocks of me. Yes, I do love my neighborhood. Although my power chair doesn't go that fast, I usually travel at top speed when I am out and about. I suspect that if I ever owned a car, it would probably be a convertible, so I could feel the wind in my hair. Often I arrive at my destination without realizing how I got there, though. Yes, power chairs fall victim to the same autopilot syndrome that car drivers suffer when they take the same route day after day. My mind is usually on where I'm going and I miss the blessings that the Lord has planted along the way. This realization was made one clear sunny June day as I race past a grove of lilac trees, my favorite flower. I only realized what I had missed when a light breeze carried that tree's delicate fragrance my way. I paused, looked back, at, and enjoyed the beauty of the lilacs in full bloom. My grocery shopping could wait. I think I'm going to slow down and enjoy the blessings the Lord gives me. I'll smell the lilacs. I'll stay in the moment of a good conversation. I'll make notes as I listen to a good sermon and I'll chew on every nugget of inspiration that comes along my way. I'll give thanks to God and express my gratitude to those who bless me with a hug or a word of encouragement. I'll not be stingy with my words of praise for both man and God. When an answer to a prayer comes my way, I'll make sure I'll let God know how grateful I am for the unmerited favor he pours on my life. I'll take the time to notice the beauty God created for me, the massive trees, the lush rolling hills, water features in my local park. I'll delight in the sound of children's laughter. I'll take the time to step out on my balcony and watch the sunset at least once or twice in the summertime, but I'm not making any promises in the dead of winter. Yes, I will embrace each moment with gratitude. Psalm 148, verse one to six. Join with me. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all you hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created, and he established them forever and ever. He gave a decree and it shall not pass away. So as you look around your world today, join them in a song of praise to the King of Kings.